don't get the wrong impression it was still an absolute trash yeah. whiskey <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. We're doing another episode of the Reentry Buzz. I believe this is episode four, uh, where we drink and maybe it's not. I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. No, 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 because three was so two came out. It's two. It's a week. It's a week delayed. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's four, everyone. But anyway, this is after we drink uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C923. So we're reentry buzzing on something special, but it is a uh, blind tasting competition between me and Brian last week. Ooh, is that a Waterford Glencairn? Uh, uh, no, it's not Waterford, um, but it's Glen Glencairn, Glencairn. Nice, nice, <laughs> yeah, nice, it's, nice. It's their nice cut one, yeah. So Brian's Brian's prepared to bring it. So I won last week, and the week before that, we, we had a tie. And then the week before that, I believe I had a win. Right, right, right. I, right. I believe so. on all public episodes, I have gotten zero points. So it's two zero one in terms of the record for Cole. <laughs> uh, so let's see if we can keep it up this week. So uh, as always, we want to, uh, uh, you know, let everyone know what we're fighting for. We like to sip, and before we even go to the um, to the uh, guesses that we have this week. Uh, we like to give it what we would pay for a bottle of this pour. Um, but we like to like to take guesses. Uh, the guesses are type of whiskey, secondary grain, distillery, proof, age. Is it finished? Uh, and and if it is finished, that's good. But if it is not finished, that counts as a vote saying not applicable. will get you points from here on as it didn't last week. We'll make a bottle guess, and but before we get into any of that stuff, we will also talk about what we liked about the pour, so that you can know maybe it's worth buying for yourself if you can get your hands on it. Uh, but that is how we do it. Uh, right now, I got a semi-light uh, looking whiskey in my hand. Uh, ooh, I'm getting um, getting ooh. some notes just oh off the gosh. nose of it being near my face right now. Mm. So um, here's what we're going to do. As always, you know, it's a competition. I'm up, up by two. Uh, and so, yeah, let's let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit. And then we'll get into, um, well, oh, wow. Nose. No, okay. So I won't nose it officially, but. Um, <laughs> I yes. think I know exactly what this is. <laughs> oh, you do? Okay, cool. That might help you this week um okay so let's uh send it to uh the sipping we're not going to send it a break yet let's sip it talk about how much we'd pay for a bottle and then we'll take a break and we'll get into the uh notes and stuff so here we go to sip oh crap what the crap is this oh oh no it's not what i thought it was dang it i thought i was gonna I have, have no an easy day today is. No, no way. I'm totally wrong. Oh my gosh. This is not not big into it, I'll tell you that. Is uh, you know, we were going to we were going to say how much would you pay for this, but uh is 0 dollars an answer cuz That's my answer. I would not ever pay for this. Yeah. Oh my. Off goodness. the nose. I haven't sipped it yet. So let me sip it. Have you sipped it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Right. Yeah, I sipped it. Yeah, let's see that face when you sip it here. I have a feeling I know what this is. Oh wow, interesting. Oh wow, that's weird. Yeah, there's a there is one oh. very there is oh. a very prominent fruit note on here that <laughs> just is driving me wild, um, and is the 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 death knell for what I thought it was. I um uh, on the oh. nose, I thought I knew literally exactly what this was, but now there's this like fruit thing on there. Do you oh. have a prominent fruit on the palate? There is fruitiness, but it's like synthetic y and really low aged. Like I could imagine this is not even aged a year. I'm with you. Oh. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. If you were forced to buy this, how much would you pay without having heartburn? Oh, like 10 bucks. I think I could go under 20. I think I'll say, okay. I'll say. 19. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for this distillery. 
It's probably, yeah, I'm not even going to go there, but uh, I feel bad because we're going to shame this distillery so much (laughs) in this short (laughs) episode. Let's go to break and we'll be back. Uh, Brian and I are going to write down some notes and compare and take our guesses. We'll be right back and uh, we'll give our our guesses and our notes. So here we go to break. All right, we're back, guys. And after some dry heaving, uh, I feel like I'm going to let some people down. Let, I really hope one of our listeners didn't send this to us and was like, hey, you got, ooh, you know what I think this might be? Nope, too late. Oh, it hit me. Oh, okay. So, okay. Let me smell this. Maybe it is that. All right, here we go. I think it is that now. Um, okay. So here's the notes that I got on the nose. Uh, it said super young, single malty, uh, definitely not bourbony. That's what I wrote down uh, on the palate. I definitely said very, not. very unpleasant, uh, way too synthetic sweet, oaky in uh, oaky and buttery in a really bad way. <laughs> <laughs> buttery i like the buttery yeah like a chardonnay but like really bad yes that's yeah. perfect yeah mm-hmm. and then i said finish i wrote down these words i wish i could get this out of my mouth <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man so wh- what'd oh, you get on the on the on the notes you got okay <clears throat> so my nose note is um is more of an emotion. All right. Imagine you're in a hotel <laughs> yep. and you, and you walk up to the door where behind mm. that door is the indoor swimming pool. Uh huh. Yeah. And I can get that. Open the, the door to the indoor swimming pool. Yep. And it's like, it just kind of hits you like a, like yeah. a chlorinated like pool <laughs> yeah. hits you. Uh, so, all right. When I tasted it, it obviously tastes incredibly young. Totally. And then, but the the very prominent fruit that I mentioned earlier is apricots. Mm-hmm. I get heavy, heavy apricots on it. Mm-hmm. And then uh, for the finish, I wrote harsh, comma ethanol. That's nice. all I wrote. I love that. It's better than mine. It's more complimentary than mine. <laughs> all right. So, in terms of my guesses. I gave it um, uh, type single malt. Secondary grain. If I'm sticking with the single malt, I'm going to say not applicable. Uh, I knew that I had a bottle in my shelf uh, from Devil's Backbone Spirits. And I thought, maybe this is that. Now I'm doubting it. And I think uh, Brian might have might have gotten a big win here. But I said uh, proof was 86 age was one uh, i believe this wasn't even a year old that's how that's how youthful this one tastes to me uh finish uh i said no not applicable uh and then i went with i haven't had it yet never tried it but i got a bottle of it it was called devil's backbone danzig it's a single malt from devil's backbone uh, brewery in virginia and how much would you pay for it 10 bucks and i might even regret that to be honest nice Brian, yeah because you say? then you're like what do i do with this bottle <laughs> yeah exactly yeah okay so uh totally agree oh. with you on single malt <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm mm-hmm. definitely with you on single malt mm-hmm. secondary grain not applicable distillery floki i regret not choosing that myself <laughs> no. mm-hmm. proof 94 i'm honing directly in on what this is nice i believe all your eggs is, in one basket yeah all, all all eggs are in one basket here age three years believe it or not okay three wow. years unbelievable the, i don't know what kind of cast they're aging this in is a very cold environment cole that's true up in iceland up in iceland it is yes finished in the Birchwood, and so it is the Floki Birchwood finish okay. that I wish I'd paid nineteen dollars for, but I was on vacation and where money doesn't exist. So there you go. All right, here goes the reveal. You guys ready? It's in my back pocket right now, and a perfect score for Brian. So we'll be right back. We'll get some of the details. 
but we'll be right back <laughs> with uh with the scores. And we're back. All right. So coming back in full force here after scoring zero points and then zero points, I come in with a perfect, perfect score. No. score. <laughs> no. So I absolutely nailed it. This was the Floki Birch finish. The nose just told me right away what it was. But I'll be honest, when I took the sip, when I took my first sip of, uh, and like was trying to get palate notes, there was this apricot on there that I do not remember. It's such a like a rich, sweet fruit, but there was plenty of apricot on there. Now, don't get the wrong impression. It was still an absolute <laughs> trash <Yeah>. whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, the apricot was super surprising, though, and almost threw me off. I almost decided to go a whole other way with it. But I was like, no, you got to stick with your gut. You got to go with what your nose was at. And yeah. so I ended up filling out straight down the board. Floki birch finish all the way down Perfect. and i ended up with 31 points which is apparently the max points. we had no idea what the max was yeah until we today. found out today oh so uh yep in terms of the single malt it yeah it was a single malt no secondary grain distillery was floki proof was 94 age was three years which is impressive not impressive it is not impressive uh, on the other hand it's a terrible whiskey for a three-year uh, it is finished in birch, Floki birch finish. Um, I got seven points, only three for single malt, three for no secondary grain, and one for the age because I said it was one year and it was a three year. So I got one point there. Um, I will say this, and we mentioned this in our little break time. If you're going to buy some Floki, buy the dung smoked finish over there. <laughs> It's because the dung smoke finished, uh, or not the dung smoke finished, the dung smoked variety that they do is actually better than this. I, so, yep, I 100% yeah. agree. Um, the dung smoked was my favorite while I was out there too. And um, to be specific, mm -hmm. they have a they have a dung smoked young malt that mm -hmm. I think is only like two years aged. Okay, and then they have a dung smoked single malt mm -hmm. which i think correct me if i'm wrong but in order to be called a single malt it has to be three years aged only in scotland oh okay okay well there mm -hmm. was some differentiation there where they had two lines mm -hmm. one of which they called the young malt and the other they called a single malt or or mm -hmm. maybe something else i i can't remember and yeah. i actually liked the younger dung smoked more than the older dung smoked so okay Next time y'all are in Iceland, yeah, if you ever hit up Reykjavik, the, yeah, actually, I buy do you highly, some. Uh -huh. highly recommend the distillery experience. That's the, cool. The guy there was mm -hmm. just so awesome. He does cool. He, it was like a half explanation of the history of Floki and half magic show where he oh, did cool. like like crazy like magic tricks and stuff it like it kept it so fun and so interesting if you are ever in Reykjavik I highly recommend going to the Floki distillery <laughs> sweet so check it so out guys uh -huh. I had a little edge on this one obviously but no, uh, no, no, but no. I'll take the win because of my zero points previously so yeah it's, good it's about this. two in terms of Cole Brian Ty it's two to one to one so you're catching right up yep sweet so I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of the Reentry Buzz. We'll see you guys next week. Oh.